Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to play Poppy top lane and carry. I am also gonna be showing you a nasty 71% win rate build on her. We have Grass, Shield Bash, Bone Plating, and Revitalize. Revitalize, Shield Bash both work really well with our passive and Corruption Potion. We also have Biscuits, Time Warp Tonic, which also work very well with our Corruption Potion. First thing you're gonna do is throw your passive at the enemy. She has her little mark on the front side of me, which is making me hesitate a bit, but we got her passive down. When she goes in for the next minion, I'm going to bully her with my grass proc. Like that. I'm going to kite it back. She's tanking my minion, so even though she proc'd it, I'm still in the win on that. I have my passive up. I'm going to hit her with my Q, auto attack. I have biscuits as well. I'm going to hit her with a Q, pull it out. This is a bit of a volatile matchup, as you can imagine. Keep her off the wave. I am missing a lot of minis to keep her off the wave, but it's overall worth it. She's missing out on a lot of CS. She's probably going to have to TP back. She's not getting to any XP right now. There we go. Got the kill. Take the Corruption Potion. We just flash E right into her. That's fine. I'll go ahead and... Uh, that's fine. I can TP back. First item we're going to want to rush is going to be Bramble Vest since it is Fior. Bramble Vest is one of your best items on Poppy if you're playing against an auto attack based healer like Fior or Irelia. We're going to hit her with our passive. We're going to use our W to cancel his dash. We're sitting on a lot of minions here. We're going to kite back towards our Lilia. Like I said, they're fighting us on a lot of minions. We smacked him with our passive and our grass. We have a huge wave here. I'll attack Q into the turret. And she's dead. Poppy is a massive menace for turret dive situations or for 2v2 since she is highly mobile. Good base movement speed. She has her W speed up, obviously her E dash. You're just going to lose a lot of this play. I'm actually going to go ahead and reset. Top top turret and mid turret are both. You have special armor for the first five minutes of the game where it's really hard to break them for top and mid. So if you're ever in this kind of situation, just reset. Get your corruption potions back. We have our bramble vest rush. And now we can go straight into our uh, iceborne gauntlets right here. Well, frostfire gauntlets. They changed the name. I keep forgetting. We can go straight into our Frostfire Gauntlet. Gives us a lot of ump, armor, magic, resist, HP, lots of damage, ability haste, and it's super inexpensive on Poppy. 400 gold cheaper than Sunfire Aegis. You don't have to rush Bramble Vest. You only do it against, like I said, uh, melee healers, melee self healers like Fiora, Irelia, Yasuo, Yon, those type of champs. Otherwise, you would just rush straight for your Frostfire Gauntlet. We're going to smack her with our passive. We'll pack back off here to take her little mark off the front side of us. Now it's on our back side. If you break vision, then it like, resets it. I need to pull back because of her minion wave. I'm going to lose that trade if I prolong it. We want a corruption potion. When you are taking heavy trades, try to use a corruption potion so you get that extra bit of damage. This is an enormous wave. I'm going to pick up my little buckle, the shield. Hecarim is bot side, he's not top side, so I can probably be fine here. Gonna hit her with that. I have my grasp. Just gonna get bonked by that. I think I just fight her here. Pick up my shield, push her back towards her minions. And uh, yeah, she's actually gonna get away there. That's fine. I still technically have the wave froze on her, which is kind of interesting. I'm still full HP. I used my Q kind of sloppy there. I was trying to time her dash. I thought she was going to dash into me. So I was trying to like smack her with my Q, but if I would have held on to that a bit longer, I think we would have had it anyways. Try to block off my minions. They still have their cannon minions, so I think we should be good here. 
Everybody's going to keep pushing me. I'm going to slowly build up a CS lead. Early game, I missed a lot of CS since I've been playing really scrappy so far. Poppy can play like that early because of your biscuits and corruption potion. You just have to uh, sometimes give up CS. Like I was just shoving her completely off of the wave when she was super low. Immediately hit her. She can't dash when I have this on. I'm gonna hit kill her with my passive. Try to get her with that, it didn't quite work. Try to dash away there, nice, nice. I can eat a biscuit as well. Fjord did a nice job parrying my R. Your R's got some decent range to it. It's got more range than your Q or your auto attack. Your Q has more range than your autos. So in terms of your attack range, your auto attack is, so your E's technically your mostly your longest range. If you charge your R, it does get longer, so. I guess it gets kind of complicated, but normally your E is your longest move, and then uh, your passive, then your Q. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this. I don't think I... Get. Actually, I think I actually win this. Oh, got him. Oh, it's a double. We'll take that. That's why you got to go Bramble Vest, guys. <laughs> Bramble Vest is so OP versus AD melee champs. So busted. Your Q is a nice little AoE. The front side does damage and so does the back side and it is a slow all the way through. A lot of the times you use your E or your RCC to make sure you land both sides of your Q. Otherwise, they'll just step out of the second part. The explosion, but that's not to be cocky. That's basically GG what they did there. Like them dying there just low key cost them the game. If they're going to get 1v2'd like that, I'm going to form a nasty snowball lead. If the enemy top laner isn't really willing to scrap with you, that's typically when you'll just shove waves more and then do teleport play. Since Fiora's willing to scrap with me, I can just use my teleport to get back to lane. My uh, Your W on Poppy, when you have that on, it cancels any dash, leap, or most forms of gap closing so like tristana jump kha'zix jump Rengar jump the hecarim dash on his e the fiora dash on her q that's why when they're attacking me i have decent odds because i can time out the hecarim cc with my w or at the very least do some damage in cc to him i'm gonna go ahead and max our e second Smack her with our passive. I'm going to be putting my E into her here in a second, right when my Q's up. We got her really low. She's holding on to her. She's holding on to her repost for as long as she can, though. Yeah, she's dead now. Once she used her repost, she had to leave because then I'll just dash onto her, kill her with my passive, or just E into Q. I have enough armor, Hecarim shouldn't be able to kill me, plus I'm on my corruption potion right now. Oh, this is awkward. Their mid laner's missing as well. It's making me uncomfortable. Ooh. Got it. Got the, <laughs> got the Hecarim and got the Herald. That's a tilter for him. I might even go take his blue buff if that's up. Oh, uh, it's not up. I guess I'll just go take this plant then. I'm chilling on TP. I have more stats than Fiora and I'm more fed. So I'm more fed with items and in levels. She can't solo me. I can head back to lane. Hecarim likely won't come back. He'll be scared. I'll 1v2 them. We want to hit her with our passive just like so. You can keep track of when your passive's coming back up. It gets lower per level. Uh, but yeah, you can keep track of it. So you can position properly to walk back up and smack them with it. It's 
kind of like a GPQ in terms of damage, especially since it applies your grasp. I want to bonker with it. That's some decent damage. I don't. I don't mind taking these trades at all because I come out on top in terms of damage on them. I have a lot of armor. Like I said, I'm a higher level to where it's actually very good for me to take these trades. Kind of wanted her to jump into me there. Got her. Bash her into her own turret. You can knock them into any structure. Inhibitors, Nexus, walls, turrets, doesn't matter. As long as it's a structure, even a Nivea wall or Trundle pillar. It needs to be some kind of physical barrier. Yeah, she's screwed. This is actually a really challenging matchup for Fiora. Poppy struggles most against counterpunch top laners like Heimerdinger and Alawi. Those are two of the main ones that come to mind where if you go to them, they just win by default. And uh, it's just not pretty. Other than Heimerdinger and Alawi, Poppy's really strong right now. She's just considered a top 10 top laner. And uh, she can take really good advantage of the Corruption Potion meta and the Biscuit meta since she obviously is very scrappy with her HP and mana. Alright, we have Frostfire Gauntlet now. We're going to get played Steel Caps. And next up on the 71% win rate build, we're going to finish off Thornmill and then get our Dead Man's Plate. Could do a little TP move bot lane. My bot lane's playing super far back. I guess I'll just TP over here. I don't know if we're going to get anything out of it. Flash even the wall, auto attack Q. Nice little kill. Remember to use your W and chase downs. It's a nice little speed up. You can catch a lot of people off guard when you're moving at them real fast with W, flash, then E. It happens so fast. A lot of times, even if they have flash, they won't use it in time. Should give Orianus. Ooh, the enemy bot lane's roaming. The enemy bot lane has a pretty big lead. We can keep diving Fiora. We have enough sustain off corruption. And uh, using our passive to just whittle her down. Like here, we're going to bash her into the wall, hit her with Q. She's already almost dead off that alone. She's got our corruption burn on her right now. Just smash her into the wall. Took three or four turret shots. Still got high HP. Use my last corruption potion. Like at this point, if you're a Fiora, you basically have to leave lane or get your jungler to come. The problem is, is I've... Hecarim's ganked her two or three times, and I normally kill them both, or at the very least, I kill one of them, so. There's not much incentive for Hecarim to come over here right now. Got a big wave pushing. There's a lot of people missing. They have three people missing on the map right now. Pick up my little shield. I would like this blue buff. Somebody's over here, though. Got it. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, Vagar didn't want me to get that. It was kind of sneaky of him. We can afford full Thornmel. I could take uh, this this pink ward realistically and then take Gromp. Continue to pressure the Fiora. While my TP's on and cooldown, it might be best to just stay here and uh, absorb resources like a Trindamir would do. Poppy's fairly mobile with her ease. If you guys remember earlier, I had a little cheeky escape against Hecarim where I dashed to an enemy minion. You can go over walls with Poppy dash as well. As long as you have vision of the target you want to jump to, and it's an enemy target, you can go. Her E is really, really good at that. Auto attack. I'm going to flick on my W. I used my W a little early there. I thought she, I should have just waited until she started her dash animation. I was trying to anticipate rather than react. Nearly killed her though. Poppy's got some incredible base damage. You gotta love that Q range. It's very similar to a Maokai Q in terms of range. 
And it even goes a little bit behind you, so if they're slightly in behind you, they'll still take the damage. Everyone's missing right now, this is kind of sketchy. Oh man, we missed Cannon Minion. Dude, I don't know where Hecarim is, I took his whole topside jungle. We could dive big. Our one nice thing about stacking armor is turrets do very little damage to you. And same with dragons, barons, the heralds. They just have a, a lot of issues. We got two turrets top. Guess it's time for us to roam. I've been putting it off since our bot lane's so far behind. You normally don't want to try to help your weakest lane because you'll end up getting yourself killed trying to help him. We don't have many other options at this point. I mean, I could have gone for Harold. Looks like Lily's going to go for that. Fiora's chill on top. She doesn't know what to do. That's not what she can do. Fiora's a hyper feast, hyper famine champ. When she falls behind, she typically stays behind. Yeah, they're they're going to run all the way home. It's fine. My bot lane should really go top at this point. This Ezreal's feeling cocky, man. He thinks he can fight me. I mean, he is fed, but... He's not doing that much damage to me. It's kind of bizarre how every Q is hitting me. Like, wow. His Qs are actually kind of insane. Knocked her up inside of my Q. Gonna bash him into the wall. Uh, I'm not gonna kill him. Vagar might try to <coughs> do something sneaky. I doubt this is warded. I really hope it's not. Mm. I don't think they know I'm here. Got my shield. He's dead. We'll see you into him. Uh, I can reset teleport mid, or I could probably just go kill her. She's still not full item. We'll go take care of her. If she wants turret. She got. She can't really shove top right now. Blocked off her dash. Just let the turret kill, it's kind of funny. I just have too much armor, I have triple armor items, it's really nasty. And that's GG guys, that's how you play some Poppy Top Lane. If you guys enjoyed this 71% win rate Poppy Top, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.